we wanted to look at uh, conditions that affect the growth of pollinators and so we were looking at different seed mixes and different growing conditions. Now we're hoping that next spring we're going to have a good growth of the native plants because many of the seed need a cold period. They need to go through that winter period. That's going to ensure hopefully some good germination uh, come next spring. The experiment itself has been pretty straightforward. So we did also have to collect soil samples from different parts of the arboretum. So that was a lot of fun. We had to go around and test soil and figure out which one would work for the experiment. I think that the best part is working with um, Gino as a partner and Jana as a research assistant. I worked with her last summer on another research project and it's been very rewarding to see her progress. This I think is the fourth or fifth project that I've conducted and each time we've had a student who is very enthusiastic, very intelligent, uh, very capable of working independently with minimal supervision. So it was just a terrific experience. This experiment gave me the opportunity to network with the TRCA, so the Toronto Regional Conservation Authority, and they sort of influence a lot of the policy in the city about environmental matters, so it was an interesting and significant network for me to get involved with. The present mix used by the MTO is not pollinator friendly, so if they replace it with this new seed mix that's more pollinator friendly, that to ensure more pollinators movement from one part of the province to another. That in turn could ensure a better crop for farmers uh, across Ontario.